One of the things to remember about the advanced sequencing section is that you're going back to what you did in the first course with sequencing, but they're giving you more challenging puzzles to solve. One of the things that will frequently happen is they'll space the bananas in an odd way. So you have to be sure to collect them all in order to get your three stars. When doing this, what makes this more challenging is that you have to remember to test your code in chunks. Real programmers break the problems they're going to solve into smaller pieces. So the first bit of code I'm gonna write is gonna to get to be to get my first banana. So I'm gonna to need to go this way two times. Now, we test it even if we are like, oh no, I know that's correct. Because it's always good to just be sure everything's working the way you expect. I like to leave the monkey there because it lets me see now exactly what the next step is. So in this case, I need to jump up onto this block. Now you can see here, they're giving us that hint. The hint is not always going to be the next block you need, but it's just something that they notice is missing from your sequence of code. So I'm going to need to jump up and then I'm going to need to go one, two, three to get that banana and then four to get that treasure. Now that's doing two things at once, but since it's just one more block, I'm going to go ahead with that, but let me double check. So jump up one time, and then one, two, three, four. All right, so I'm gonna put those in. And if anything doesn't work in this section, I know it's only in these last blocks because the first ones I already tested. 